Bienvenue à l'école de langue pro, où nous vous guiderons dans la pratique des phrases en anglais de CNN. Commençons. Qualified. Qualified. Qualifié. Rigorous. Rigorous. Rigoureux. Significant. Significant. Significatif. Misleading. Misleading. Trompeur. Underpinning. Underpinning. Sous-tendant. Prospective. Prospective. Éventuel. Fermented. Fermented. Fermenté. Partition. Partition. Pétition. Submission. Submission. Soumission. Equivalent. Equivalent. Équivalent. Yogurts can now make a limited claim that the food may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Yogurts can now make a limited claim that the food may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Yogurts can now make a limited claim that the food may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Qualified health claims are supported by scientific evidence, but do not meet the more rigorous significant scientific agreement standard required for an authorized health claim. Qualified health claims are supported by scientific evidence, but do not meet the more rigorous significant scientific agreement standard required for an authorized health claim. Qualified health claims are supported by scientific evidence, but do not meet the more rigorous significant scientific agreement standard required for an authorized health claim. To ensure that these claims are not misleading, they must be accompanied by a disclaimer or other qualifying language to accurately communicate to consumers the level of scientific evidence supporting the claim. To ensure that these claims are not misleading, they must be accompanied by a disclaimer or other qualifying language to accurately communicate to consumers the level of scientific evidence supporting the claim. To ensure that these claims are not misleading, They must be accompanied by a disclaimer or other qualifying language to accurately communicate to consumers the level of scientific evidence supporting the claim. According to limited scientific evidence, eating yogurt regularly, at least two cups, three servings, per week, may reduce risk of the disease. According to limited scientific evidence, eating yogurt regularly, at least two cups, three servings, per week, may reduce risk of the disease. According to limited scientific evidence, eating yogurt regularly, at least two cups, three servings, per week, may reduce risk of the disease. Yogurt is rich in calcium, protein, B vitamins and minerals, including magnesium, phosphorus and potassium. Yogurt is rich in calcium, protein, B vitamins and minerals, including magnesium, phosphorus and potassium. Yogurt is rich in calcium, protein, B vitamins and minerals, including magnesium, phosphorus and potassium. The petition to allow a qualified health claim related to type 2 diabetes to appear on yogurt labels followed the appropriate steps and included peer-reviewed research to support their petition.
The petition to allow a qualified health claim related to type 2 diabetes to appear on yogurt labels followed the appropriate steps and included peer-reviewed research to support their petition. The petition to allow a qualified health claim related to type 2 diabetes to appear on yogurt labels followed the appropriate steps and included peer-reviewed research to support their petition. The way the studies were conducted means we can't really say for sure there is a causal relationship but more of a correlation between type 2 diabetes and yogurt. The way the studies were conducted means we can't really say for sure there is a causal relationship, but more of a correlation between type 2 diabetes and yogurt. The way the studies were conducted means we can't really say for sure there is a causal relationship but more of a correlation between type 2 diabetes and yogurt. Qualified health claims have been allowed by the FDA for dietary supplements since 2000 and for food since 2002, but they are rarely announced. Qualified health claims have been allowed by the FDA for dietary supplements since 2000 and for food since 2002 but they are rarely announced. Qualified health claims have been allowed by the FDA for dietary supplements since 2000 and for food since 2002, but they are rarely announced. In the past decade, only 10 foods have been allowed to be sold with such claims, including high flavonol cocoa powder for reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, and certain cranberry products for lowered odds of recurrent urinary tract infections among women. In the past decade, only 10 foods have been allowed to be sold with such claims, including high flavonol cocoa powder for reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and certain cranberry products for lowered odds of recurrent urinary tract infections among women. In the past decade, only 10 foods have been allowed to be sold with such claims, including high flavonol cocoa powder for reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and certain cranberry products for lowered odds of recurrent urinary tract infections among women. Qualified health claims are ridiculous on their face. Qualified health claims are ridiculous on their face. Qualified health claims are ridiculous on their face. High consumption of added sugar has been linked with a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes in multiple studies. High consumption of added sugar has been linked with a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes in multiple studies. High consumption of added sugar has been linked with a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes in multiple studies. Adding to the dubiousness of the claim is the reality that the cause of type 2 diabetes is multifactorial. Adding to the dubiousness of the claim is the reality that the cause of type 2 diabetes is multifactorial. Adding to the dubiousness of the claim is the reality that the cause of type 2 diabetes is multifactorial. Even though yogurt can be part of a healthy, weight-maintaining diet, to expect yogurt on its own to be causally associated with diabetes prevention makes no sense out of the context of the diet as a whole. 
Even though yogurt can be part of a healthy, weight-maintaining diet, to expect yogurt on its own to be causally associated with diabetes prevention makes no sense out of the context of the diet as a whole. Even though yogurt can be part of a healthy, weight-maintaining diet, to expect yogurt on its own to be causally associated with diabetes prevention makes no sense out of the context of the diet as a whole. When evaluating the health claims of products to make the best choices for your diet and health status, using common sense is critical. When evaluating the health claims of products to make the best choices for your diet and health status, using common sense is critical. When evaluating the health claims of products to make the best choices for your diet and health status, using common sense is critical. Previous research has suggested limiting added sugar intake to less than 25 grams, or about 6 teaspoons, per day. Previous research has suggested limiting added sugar intake to less than 25 grams, or about 6 teaspoons, per day. Previous research has suggested limiting added sugar intake to less than 25 grams, or about 6 teaspoons, per day. Merci pour votre apprentissage. Si vous aimez notre chaîne, veuillez vous abonner, laisser un commentaire et partager. À la prochaine, au revoir.